Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claire Rose. And this is The Flash, the trailer for the movie that stars Michael Keaton and other people. And apparently is the best superhero movie ever, if you uh, put any stock in James Gunn's opinion. I'm so curious. I really, really am. I'm just... The, the wonder, marketing behind like, this movie. Yeah, I wonder how good this movie can be to excuse, what, nine felonies? No, I think it's only like one felony and nine misdemeanors. Ah, well, that's still one allegedly. more felony than I allegedly, have. Allegedly, so. allegedly. For legal reasons. For legal reasons. Allegedly. Yeah, you know, we like to give uh, groomers the benefit of the doubt. Um, <laughs> Shall we watch this trailer? Let's do it. <laughs> Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another timeline. Another universe. The Batman. So why do you want to stay Whoa. and fight to save this one? This suit looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I like the idea. Because this is the world where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. Time has a pattern. That it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. Mm. My face. So my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce. I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. Batman! This can't be happening. Wait. I completely broke the universe. What? Sod. We've been waiting for you. I created a world of no meta humans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Rad. Let's go! You are? Yeah. Yeah! I'm Batman. Yeah! Oh, that was rad. If I can't undo what I did, if I can't get back, there might not be a future. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. <laughs> that stops. Yeah, okay. That's super cool. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Okay. Woo! Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are gonna wanna see this. She looks great. She looks great. I'm not gonna lie. The Flash's suit reminds me of those uh, EVA foam boots that I keep seeing on Twitter. <laughs> the Mario boots that just came out. <laughs> I like I like the lightning in it. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Also, I had no idea that this movie was going to be on this scale. With all Why? of these deep sea people, I thought I it was did not know Michael like Shannon was going to be in this movie. But that's what I mean. I thought this was a Flash movie specifically. Like, yeah, I don't know. You know when superheroes usually get the first movies, and there's maybe one or two cameos to introduce people for then future stuff. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that the scale of this in within the DCU would be much bigger. If that makes sense. The, the DCEU. Sorry, the DCEU. Because this is going to be the end of the DCEU, right? Maybe. And it's going to be kind a of, hard... Uh, judging by that, it looks like they're going for a full reset. Yeah. I... Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. I I just needed to hear Michael Keaton say I'm Batman again. That's all I care. I don't care about... I Honestly, as much as Sasha looks amazing, um, Ben Affleck looks awesome, Ezra Miller is in the movie. Um, yep. I just... I, I don't... I just love Michael Keaton so much and I love those Batman movies and hearing him he looks so good and he said I'm Batman and I'm in 
Where are the tears? I, I, I'm you not, let down the people. I'm not like emo- Yeah, I'm not like crying about it. I'm just like. It's more like pumped. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. It's not sad. It, it, no. Yeah. no, no, no. You're right. I, it's I, I don't. It's impactful, but it's not sad. I think it's partially because I knew it was coming, and so it wasn't a surprise. It I was you said just you didn't know he was in the movie. No, I didn't know Michael Shannon was in the movie as oh. Zod. Because I, 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 I didn't know who the villain was. And, like, obviously, I think that one of the two berries is going to be the villain of the movie. But I, the ultimate villain, I didn't know the Zod was going to be in the movie. Michael Keaton plays Batman. Uh, Michael Shannon plays Zod. Yeah, sorry. From Man I of Steel. I got confused with Michael. How, how, how is, how did they, they, okay, so they cut Henry Cavill's cameo from this movie. But they're going to have Henry Cavill's villain? Like, I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That seems like a weird choice to me. Yeah, I had also heard that Ben Affleck's like, cameo was did, cut from this movie, too, so I'm really confused. Who did Henry Cavill piss off? No one. That's what's weird about it. No, but that's what I mean. Like, I I, don't, I think someone just has, like, a grudge. Oh, no, there was um, someone at the former D, um, DC leadership did not like Henry Cavill. That is true. But then, the, but, but... It feels like it. I know. Which is just really unfortunate. I, I don't really understand it at all, um, but... Um, I just got Michael Keaton. Guys, Michael Keaton's back. That's all I care about. I will, um, and look, here's the thing. Ezra Miller has done some shit, but like, a little bit. I, I don't, th- it's one of those weird things where it's like, I don't feel like seeing this movie or not seeing this movie will change. It doesn't change the outcome. The it outcome doesn't... of their situation. And yeah. so I hope that they get help and I hope that, you know, that all figures itself out. That has nothing to do with me, and I, 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 I don't know. I, that, that is their business. It's their life. Uh, but um, I, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to do with that. It's weird, right? Because it happened after this movie uh, has been filmed, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I think that um, if they had <laughs> been like, ah, yeah, screw all the shitty things that they did, and we're gonna hire them for a movie anyways. I think I might be less inclined to see that movie, but because mm-hmm. they were already a part of the universe, yeah. right? They were they they were already the Flash, um, and they wanted to make a movie about the Flash, and then Ezra Miller kind of whatever whatever they did. Uh, I, I think that that makes it complicated. Um, and and fair, they did they did choke that one girl. Which we were the only people talking about. I know. We were like, every time Ezra Miller comes up, I just feel uncomfortable because this happened and like nobody's talking about how they assaulted yeah. a child. Uh, but you know, whatever. I, I would guess. be happier if they weren't in this movie. I would be too. But uh, this is different from the Hogwarts Legacy situation because I don't feel like if I go see this movie, I am funding. No, Ezra Miller is judging yeah. their uh, the how right their actions are based on how many people go see the Flash. Uh, I, I do think there's a fundamental difference between those two things, and yeah. so I while, while I find it uncomfortable, and honestly, of the things in this trailer, I I think that their interpretation of Barry is my least favorite thing about this trailer. Honestly, I I just the the uncomfortable like my my face, you stole my face, and like I just didn't really like that. Everyone else feels very grounded, and Ezra Miller feels like they're fucking around a little bit. And I, it, this just isn't. There's no version of Barry Allen from the comics that this reminds me of. And like, mm-hmm. there are some great Flash comics. They, they're. I'm looking at them on screen right now. Barry Allen from the comics doesn't feel like this in any way. And so this is just something that has never worked for me. It mm-hmm. is the one thing about Zack Snyder's Justice League. It is the one like character from Zack Snyder's Justice League that never worked for me. Mm-hmm. This version, and, well, and um, Jesse Eisenberg is Lex Luthor. Those two performances, the like cringe superhero and cringe supervillain, they've never f- functioned for me in this world. Yeah. But like everybody else looks great. Michael Shannon is one of the great actors alive who does not get enough credit because everyone thinks that he yells too much, but he is the best yeller on film of the last 50 years. He was in Birdman, right? That's Michael Keaton. God damn it. (laughs) Michael Keaton is not a yeller. Michael Shannon is a yeller. If you've never seen Michael Shannon read the sorority letter, um, the I can't say what it's called because it's just go search Michael Shannon's sorority letter. Great. It is one of the greatest acting performances you will ever witness in your life. Cool. Um, Michael Keaton is Michael goddamn Keaton. He's my Batman. He's been my Batman since I was a kid. It's Kevin Kevin Conroy and, and Michael Keaton. Those are Batman to me. He's back. It's pretty cool. I, His I suit just, looks great. Yeah, and like it's I will put up with us for Miller to get everything else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
And who knows? Maybe maybe this is the movie that convinces me of this performance of The Flash. Maybe, maybe. it is. I, I'm open to that. But right now, like, I'm here for everything else. Sasha looks fucking incredible. Yeah. She looks so good. Yeah. I'm, I'm hopeful that the prison garb scene never verges into sexual objectification of her. Because I really do not want the introduction of Supergirl into this universe. Because, like, the back is open. And I just hope that that is as far as it goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I really, I do not need to meet Supergirl by being like, ooh, is she going to be able to stay in her clothes? Like, I, I... Yeah. Especially because I there's none of the men in this movie that seem like there is any, like, sexual objectification of them in the trailer. Yeah. The only person who's, like, closer half off are, is the woman who we're meeting for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm hopeful it never goes further than what's in the trailer, because what's in the trailer is, like, already kind of, like, <laughs> yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah, no, I I, I think that's fair. I, I think um that kind of thing in context of a trailer is really hard to... Uh, <sighs> We don't have the full picture of it, so, you know, that, that'll that be a thing that uh, I'll be curious to see how it's in the movie, but for the trailer, I'm kind of like, eh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm excited. That was cool. That was really cool. Yeah, there's a lot there. Happy Super Bowl. I'm Batman. I just, I love him. That's my childhood right there. <laughs> yeah. That He's my dude, you know what I mean? He's the dang dude to me, and, like, he's back. Does he ever go to, like, uh, cons or anything? Does she, like, fly to go meet him? <laughs> I fucking doubt it. Hey, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I just love him so much. That was really cool. That suit, he can't turn his neck, but he's Batman. If you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below. Uh, the Algorithm God is hungry. We must feed her. The Algorithm Goddess this episode is, of course, Supergirl. Let's go. Who looks... That's flying next to the bat ship, the bat wing... She looks oh, sick. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Also, when um, The Flash says our children will want to see this, I was kind of like, like, but not with each other. <laughs> well, I was like, our children is in Barry hours or, his or the two and Supergirls. Oh, no, he said they're, they, as he, because Barry's pronouns are he, yes, yeah. uh, said our to the other Barry in that it is both the Barry's children because any child of one of them would technically be like genetically the other's child, but not literally the other's child. But I there but was a moment where I was like, like you're not, you're not, the two Barry's don't fuck each other in this movie, right? Oh, I thought he wanted to fuck, I, I was like, does he want to fuck Supergirl? I can't tell. Who wouldn't? Uh, do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye, guys. Bye.